Hi, I'm Rebecca Robson with Robson Design in San Diego, California. Today, I'm gonna to answer the question so many of you have been waiting to hear the answer on, and that is the blue bathroom. I don't like that. Well, <laughs> why? Um, Dovetail looks colors good. Are so hard. For some. We've actually been working for five days on this install. We've stayed every night, the last three nights in a row, I've been here until midnight. It's a lot of work, but it's a labor of love and it's what we do in order to bring the house to completion. And I thought to myself, if I was in here on official business, <laughs> there have been things that have broken, there have been things that have not arrived. Where's the towel? Do we have a towel rod? We don't have a towel rod. Mm -hmm. But you know what? It happens in every job. One way or another, it's an issue you have to deal with. So what do you do? You make the best out of it. <laughs> you better turn up. Is it blue? Is it tan? Is it white? Is it taupe? What color did Mr. Client end up going with? If you don't know what I'm talking about, let me give you just a little rewind. I gotta see. It's still blue. It's still blue. It's still blue. I'm so happy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. When he sees when he sees what he does to that room, he's gonna be so disappointed in okay. himself. Luckily, he's gonna lose Joby, his he's gonna lose his license. You You're gonna lose your license as a designer. So <laughs> <laughs> This is where we are with the so-called blue bathroom. It was blue, matched the wallpaper perfectly and everything going in that bedroom, but the client got scared. I just had a little conversation with our client and he's decided he's willing to go back to blue. Woohoo! I like the Kensington blue. I think it's more exciting because we're putting white stuff against it. But this that's, is a lot pretty, yeah. better than uh -huh. that. You just gave me something that almost looks purple. Do you have what? No, I don't know where. Yeah. I, no, I yes. thought I did. You better grab that tambourine. This so is what I had in here like before. before. Right, and that's right. very dark. dark. So it this, much lighter. This gives us a. a, yeah. a, a yeah. We're both happy. We both compromised. Okay. All right. We're gonna shake on it. You're gonna stick with it. I am. Because you went a little rogue here. I want you to stand out here and look at the bathroom and this at the same time, and then I want you to apologize. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> That's a lot. Nice. That's a big improvement. So look, great vanity, all white, pretty silver handles here. Look at my Kleenex holder. It's very shiny chrome on top, but it's brushed nickel on the side. With my um, soap pump, chrome and brushed. So you can bring those two things together. All of this is all the combination of the two. And here's what I did here. I wanted to find a towel bar that did the chrome and the brushed mixed. No one does. So you know what I did? I bought two. I bought a chrome one and a nickel one, and I mixed them. No one could love you like oh, this to have is blue. Way oh yeah, but the fact that it was blue. Yes. It needed to be blue. Yes. Yes. It needed to be blue, but not that dark, glossy blue that she chose. I didn't choose but not glossy. The gray. So to isn't that well, pretty? I think you, checked, you chose that on your own, didn't you? I did. But I don't recall that. Yeah. And, now we see it. and the tile matches with that. So we've got the combination between the mosaic there, the mosaic here, and it all comes together. But just please leave me a comment below and let me know. Are you glad that this bathroom is blue? For goodness sake. In the bedroom, the budget was real small. We were able to spend a little bit more in the bathroom because we had to. We needed to get new sink, new toilet, new shower because it was all so dated. 
Oh my gosh, what a huge difference. We kept a tub and I actually put a, a skirt on the front and we covered it in wave tile, which is fabulous. This is just a piece of glass that doesn't even go all the way. It doesn't have a door on it because you don't need one. The, the shower doesn't send water out this way, so why have a glass? So it keeps it more modern. I actually found this little iron uh, stand that I could use for toilet paper and candles and stuff. This is nice that you put something here to not, because I was like, oh my gosh, did we make, because this is where the toilet originally was, but there's this big gap. I know. That's and perfect. When you have a guest room, these are some elements you want to think about. You always want to have towels outside of the shower. I like to have a towel ring in all of my guest bathrooms because it's a great place to just dry your hands. But then in the drawer, since it's not a bathroom that's used all the time, it shouldn't be full of your stuff if it's a guest room. So we always put extra towels and we fill them up and we've got all these things so that guests don't have to go anywhere but in this room to be satisfied, comfortable, and have all their needs met. Two pieces of art. Anybody? Stop the video now and tell me what do you think this is? It's an impressionist. Stand back and if you can see it from a distance, tell me what it is. It's one big huge piece of art of a horse. We cut it and had it specially framed. Horse. Because I chose oval and I wanted to do sconces, so what I did here is I found these sconces that come in tight in the middle and they go up and go out. Do you see what that did? It went up over the mirror there and down over the mirror there. It fit perfectly. And for those of you who are wondering what this hole is in the glass, I'm ashamed of you because it means you didn't see the video that I put up earlier about this house and I explained this hole, but because I love you anyway, I'm going to explain this hole to you and that is this is where you reach in and turn on the faucet. Can you hear me? Turn on the faucet so that you don't get wet when the water's getting warm. Enchanté. Boy, when I think about what this bathroom looked like, when I bought the house. This is a huge difference from the before pictures. Originally, where this ceiling sloped down, that's where the shower stopped. And in the time when they were taking out all the existing tile and stuff, they realized that there was a cavity back in there that they could actually regain some space. actually budget-minded. The faucets we picked out are budget-minded. The tile we picked out, way less expensive. I love these big long handles and the top ones don't open because the sink is here. As you know, you cannot open a drawer if there's a sink there. And below that, usually you can't really use that either, but we have this hole here so that all the plumbing can indeed drop down the center and this is still very usable space. We use this really nice mosaic backsplash and this allowed us to tie in our finishes, our finish on the faucets. But here's the best part. <sighs> Have you been looking at these? Have you been spying these? Last minute decision, client let me add an art light here. When you're in a bathroom, you have to be somewhat close to something. It's best to pick a piece of art that has perspective. It's like, whew. I'm on the dock and the sun is setting. It's a little smoggy and I think I'm gonna take a dip. But all the bedrooms look really good. The yeah, I think so too. Look really good. So. I'd wanna be a guest here. Yeah.
All right, you guys, please subscribe to this channel. We are gonna hit a million subscribers this year, I promise. If you enjoy what we do and love it, be a part of our community. Don't forget about the design sessions. Give this video a thumbs up. I have been filming all afternoon and I'm really tired, can you tell? Okay, so what I'd really like to do is either take one of those showers and get in that, that bed over there. That's what I'd like to do. But instead, I'm gonna say goodbye to you and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.